What is going on everybody, this is Gaza back here with another video and today, well, within just within the last hour or so, um, I retweeted on my Twitter, um, the Daily Record posted this tweet about Graeme Alexander is set to become the new manager of Motherwell and I'm delighted with that appointment. I think out of the four that were interviewed, Graham Alexander himself, Tommy Wright, Keith Wisely, and um, Simon Grayson, I'm sure, was I think Graham Alexander was the best one for the job. He's um, it, and I've read that he likes to play attacking football, which I think we really need been needing to play for a while. Hopefully this will be the end of hoofing the ball up the field nonsense that we've been playing for too long. Um, but I am delighted that it's looking most likely, even looking at the odds um, on Odds Checker, Sky Bet, all your sort of like betting sites that had the specials up for the next permanent mother one manager. And all I can say is hopefully we can now go on get back to winning ways, it might be a wee while, uh, we need to get through this transfer window first, but hopefully this will be on back on the road again basically um, to trying to save our season and then building over the summer, If it, obviously it's not been confirmed by Motherwell themselves yet, there's been no announcement, I expect to be a press conference tomorrow regarding it and um, stuff on the Motherwell social media. Probably tonight they do it on the social media on Facebook, Twitter, etc. So obviously going to go into looking at Graham Alexander's like managerial career and things. Um, I had a look earlier and I well yesterday and today actually is to have sort of the backgrounds of each manager that was sort of getting interviewed. But we're just going to specifically look at Graham Alexander because he is most likely set to become the next manager of Motherwell. Well, I mean, I say most likely, he will be. So, Graham Alexander's managerial career. Well, before we go into managerial career, he had, I think it was over 40 caps for Scotland. He's never, it wasn't even born Scotland. It was a search up and he's... But he was born in Coventry down in England. Uh, and obviously his managerial career. If, sorry, before we go into managerial see and try to speak, try to think too overthink too fast. So before obviously over forty caps for Scotland and he won was a part of the squad that won the Curran Cup or whatever it's called in Japan or something. Uh in 2006, yeah, so I actually remember that game, I remember watching it, but on to his managerial career, he was caretaker boss at Preston North End, that was the first managerial job that he'd done, but only at caretaker level, uh, I don't really know how long he was caretaker boss for, then, pardon me, then, he went on to become the manager of Fleetwood Town when they were in League 2, spending three years at the club uh, down there in Fleetwood. Uh, he won promotion through the playoffs with uh, Fleetwood Town to getting them promotion to League 1. And then, what I'm sure it, that's the only club he's actually... No, sorry, it couldn't have been the only club he was sacked from. I think he was sacked actually from Fleetwood, if I remember reading on about it. Um, so he left Fleetwood and then eventually got appointed as a Scunthorpe manager uh, and was in League One at the time. And basically Scunthorpe lost in the playoff final to Millwall, I believe. I remember Millwall getting promotion. Couldn't remember who they played, but I'm sure that's what I read. He was a manager of Scunthorpe at the time. He left Scunthorpe and then became the Salford City manager when they were in the National League um, in England. He won the playoffs to get promotion 
into the Football League, into League Two. He did well in his first season, results were good, and obviously, I think he had just a poor run of games, poor results in the second, sorry, his third season as manager, and obviously ended up getting sacked. But hopefully, this will make him kick on. I think he had the highest win ratio out of all the managers that were interviewed that we mentioned at the start of the video. But I am delighted that we are about to appoint a new manager and hopefully this will be a manager that can deliver a lot of things. Hopefully if we stay up this season, we have a good transfer window first in January, a good one in the summer and then build on to try and get it back into the top six, try and push for a European, uh, European spot but... We need to take one thing at a time. I know we've done it under uh, Stephen Robinson, but this is us moving on now. And I'm just glad that we're getting a new manager in um, after the week the club has had, and after the period of the time the club has had with poor results and performances. We can now move on and let's hit the ground running. And that is all we're asking for. I know it's a difficult time, but... I don't really have much else to say. I might make another video after it's announced. Uh, and I, I'm just buzzing for to see where the club will go forward from here. So remember to comment, like and subscribe and thanks for watching.